What is up YouTube? Today what I have for you is a long anticipated video. You guys have been asking for this for quite a long time now. So here it is. Today what we're gonna be doing is a lunchbox overview. I'm gonna show you what the lunchbox is, how it works, and go over some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Mojave Repeater lunchbox. So what is the lunchbox? So the lunchbox is a, what's called a simplex repeater, right? It comes from the military concept of a retrans station or a retransmission station where a team will park themselves up on a high piece of terrain and the purpose is to retransmit signals from one side of the terrain to the other side and effectively increase the range of your communications. Um, so by simplex repeater, what I mean is that it operates on one single frequency. And it does that by receiving transmissions, recording them inside the box, and then retransmitting them out over the radio that is inside this repeater. Um, now a simplex repeater differs from something like a duplex repeater because you know it operates on one single frequency. A duplex repeater is receiving transmissions on one frequency and automatically forwarding them to the second frequency to retransmit. Now, why might you need a lunchbox? So there's a couple scenarios where you might find yourself um, you know, asking, how can I get more range out of my Baofeng? And you know, these simple little radios are limited by line of sight. Every radio, every two-way radio in existence is limited by line of sight, right? So basically, any sort of terrain that's between you and your intended receiver or recipient is going to block the traffic that you're trying to transmit on your radio. So you can defeat that terrain by placing a repeater um, on top of the terrain. Also in instances where there's no terrain, you know, the tyranny of distance reigns supreme. So for example, if I'm out of range of my Baofeng radio, typically, you know, good line of sight range, you might get 10 kilometers out of this radio. Um, if I am out of range, I can place this lunchbox repeater between me and my receiver and effectively double my range by using this simple device. All right, so now let's go over how to set up and use your lunchbox. In the box, you're gonna receive your lunchbox repeater, a charging cable, a charging base, and your antenna. So to get started using your repeater, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is connect the antenna. You always wanna connect the antenna before you turn on your lunchbox because transmitting without an antenna on can cause damage to the unit. Once your antenna's on, go ahead and flip the case around and open the lid. Inside you're gonna find a Baofeng UV5R radio the model that we use is the TID radio UV5R Pro or UV5R TP because it supplies eight watts of power, which is more than your standard Baofeng can provide. So to get started here, you're gonna to wanna to press and hold this black button on the case for about three seconds and then release it until you see all three of these LEDs turn on. Give it a second for the two blue LEDs to go out and then you should see just the red LED blinking red about once every second. Then you're gonna to wanna to turn the radio inside the case on. And the key with this is to set the volume to about three quarters of the max. So what I do is I turn the volume knob all the way up and then I turn it back about a quarter turn. So now your radio is set up, your lunchbox is set up to start retransmitting a signal. It'll work ready to go out of the box because I ship them pre-programmed with some channels uh, that you can use on your Baofeng 2A radio. So let's give it a test here. I'm gonna go ahead and close it back up and then use my radio to do a radio check. Radio check, one, two. Radio check, one, two. And you know that your repeater is working because you've heard your, re your transmission replayed back to you over the net. One of the common questions that I get about the lunchbox is if everybody is gonna hear you twice over the net. And the answer to that is yes. 
Now, I'm gonna show you a quick trick to make the launch box act more like a duplex repeater in that everybody on the net will only hear you once. However, you are always going to hear yourself back twice, or you're gonna hear yourself back at least once no matter what. So in the settings, go ahead and open up the, open up the menu and scroll through until you find TDR. Now we're gonna go ahead and select TDR on and then exit out and select your B frequency or channel and then set that to something different than the standard, uh, than the A channel. And then make sure that you're just selecting, uh, you press A, B again to select, make sure that that arrow is pointed up selecting the A frequency or channel. Now on your user radios, you're gonna have to do a little programming as well. So on this radio, what I have here is our transmit frequency, and then we're gonna set a repeater offset um, and a receive frequency. So go ahead into your menu, and you're gonna scroll through here. Scroll through here until you find menu item 25, SFTD, and go ahead and hit menu to select that. And then you're gonna use the plus, and then hit menu again. So uh, then go ahead and uh, scroll up until you find offset. Go ahead and enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0. And then hit menu again. And then you can go ahead and exit out to save that. So now what we have here, we're on MERS 1, which is 151.820. And then when we transmit, it's gonna transmit on 151.880, which is MERS 2. So to demonstrate what that looks like, basically I am receiving on the frequency that the repeater is transmitting on, and now I am transmitting on the B frequency, which is also what the repeater is receiving. Right, so I can go ahead and give this a test to demonstrate that it works. Radio check, one, two. So you can see here that I heard myself back, but to demonstrate with another radio, you would only hear it once on the other radio that's programmed in the same way. Another question that we get a lot about the launch box is what is the battery life on this unit? Now that's gonna strictly depend on what your usage looks like. So for example, if you're using it continuously, the battery might only last six to 12 hours, but if you're only transmitting intermittently every once in a while, then you can get up to 72 hours with this thing. Now, one trick or one way to extend the battery life is by using these two USB inputs that we provide on the outside of the case. So you can go ahead and unscrew the caps on these. These are watertight USB inputs and you can get a cable that actually adapts onto this and screws down that maintains the watertight, waterproof connection on this. So now using the supplied cable or whichever cable that you need to use um, you know, that works with your battery pack, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and install or put the USB cables into the side of those inputs. And then you can use any you know, standard like laptop or or phone charging battery and plug it into the USB inputs on the battery itself. Now with this tight package, I can go ahead and put this out on my repeater site wherever I want to retransmit from. And I can leave it up there, you know, potentially for days depending on the actual capacity of the battery that I'm using. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to use those USB inputs to provide power to the unit. So now for some common problems that we see with the lunchbox repeater. So this repeater relies on this Kenwood K2 two pin plug in order to relay the traffic that it receives on the radio uh, into the circuit board and then retransmit it back out over this radio through the push to talk. So what you'll see happen sometimes is you can see that this ranger band has slipped down and this plug has become unseated from the radio itself. Unfortunately with these plugs, 
the tolerances on them from the factory on the plug and the radio itself are not very tight. So you'll see that this becomes unseated sometimes. So in order to prevent that, we've provided this ranger band around the radio. So you'll see what happens here uh, when I transmit. It's probably going to be received by the radio, but it's not going to be retransmitted back over the net. So just to, to show that example, radio check one, two. And you can see that I didn't get any traffic back. So in order to prevent this from happening, you're just going to want to make sure that that ranger band is seated nice and high on the plug, you know, on like the, the neck of the plug there, and then give it a good snug press until it is firmly seated on the radio itself. Um, now, one thing to p potentially prevent this from happening, um, you know, in the future, you can add another ranger band, uh, replace it with something else, you know, if you'd like to, but any way to make sure that this plug is tightly seated down against the radio is going to help and make sure that it retransmits your signal. So now to show that it works, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a radio check. Radio check one, two. Check one, two. And you can see that now it is retransmitting my signal just fine. So the most frequently asked question that we get about the lunchbox is what is the range on the lunchbox? So you're going to hear me say this a lot on this channel, but range in terms of radio comms strongly depends on line of sight. So if you have a clear shot between you and the repeater, you know, you can get up to 10 kilometers of range between yourself and the repeater, and then the repeater will repeat it for another 10 kilometers. So you can get potentially up to 20 kilometers away from between yourself and your intended uh, receiver by using the lunchbox repeater. And that's gonna be double the range that you can get out of your Baofeng radio. But you have to have good clear line of sight between yourself and the repeater and the repeater and your intended uh, target. So to put that to the test, we're gonna go ahead and take the lunchbox out. Uh, we're gonna take it on a hike and show you how we place it on a high piece of terrain and then get a good range test out of it. So we're parked up on a high hill out in town and we're gonna drop this repeater off and then go really fucking far out in that direction and really far out in that direction and give it a radio check and see if we can retransmit our signal through this repeater. All right, hey, so we're pretty far out here. Um, we dropped the repeater off, posted it up on that hill uh, where we just filmed the last clip at and then dropped Nate off, drove down 62 in the opposite direction. Um, and I don't know how far out we are, but probably pretty close to 10 kilometers. Um, so now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and give it a radio check and I should be able to reach Nate on the other side through the repeater. So the way that we know it's working is that I'll hear myself back first. And then like we programmed it um, in, earlier in the video, uh, I should only hear Nate once, right? So uh, I'm gonna, Give it a radio check, I should hear myself back and then we'll hear him. Radio check, one, two. Radio check, one, two. Roger, over. All right, sweet, so we got him loud and clear. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the uh, this test here. So we're gonna go back to the shop and then close out the video. All right, guys, so that just about wraps up everything that we have to show you about the Lunchbox Repeater. If you're interested in buying one, stay tuned to our Instagram uh, account, that's mojave.repeater on Instagram, where we announce uh, when we're dropping uh, new orders for the Lunchbox. So 
Stay tuned to the Instagram. Check out our website at mojaverepeater.com. And most importantly, I'm going to say this again. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Get out there. Get training. Um, because you need to know how to employ this stuff. So just by simply buying equipment is not going to make you a better communicator. It's not going to make you a better gunfighter. So go out there. Get training on how to use this stuff. Um, we're hosting training courses all the time, all around the country. Our next one is coming up April 9th and 10th at CR2 Shooting Solutions Range out in Georgia. And then we have another one on the books in July in Michigan. Um, so please, that's going to be at Marksmanship Training Center. So please, please, please go out there and get training. Uh, become an asset for yourself, for your family, for your small team, and learn how to communicate. So that just, ra just about wraps it up. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Um, let me know in the comments section what you want to see us talk about next. Because I use the comments that you guys provide to inform me about what you guys want me to talk about. So go ahead, leave a comment down below if you want to see more of these videos. If not, then don't leave comments, don't leave likes, and I will probably not make any more videos. So stay tuned to our Instagram, stay tuned to the YouTube for more content. Please leave a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.